Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Geek the year. Uh, in this video, I would like to summarize all the work that has been done regarding CNC Stockfish project. So, uh, as you could have probably guessed from the title of this video, uh, I'm gonna leave this project to Fend uh, for its own, basically. And there are some serious reasons for doing that. Uh, I'll cover them later on within this video obviously but at the moment uh, I would rather go for a demonstration of what we've got so far and then quickly walk through the uh, updated code base and then finally I would go for, for, for some explanations uh, behind this decision so without further ado let's actually start it so we just build a project uh, so here is what we have so we still can print the board. Now the board uh, is represented by the array only. So I've removed the bit boards and we still can uh, print the evaluation just like it was in the original Stockfish. Well, also uh, I've added some additional uh, info to, uh, to the statistics. So let's say we, we go for position, start, pause, moves, and let's say move this cannon to here so h2 to e2 and then print the board again that we see that the cannon has moved the hash key has changed then no, nothing happened to the king square uh 60 rule move counter has been incremented game ply has been incremented search ply still equals to zero now search ply is the part of the position class by the way so this is kind of it and it would say uh, just let's say we say well let's go to position start pause back and say go perfect let's go perfect five so it's quite pretty fast well at least uh by the time of recording this video the perfect test for this version is around three times faster compared to fairy stockfish's perfect test running for cnc so it's only 13 seconds it would be a bit less if my video recording software is not active uh, obviously the results are accurate so i've been testing this with various positions and also the the, the most uh, well uh, regarding the search itself uh i actually started implementing the search but then i dropped doing that and again like the reasons behind this would be revealed at the, uh, at the very end of this video uh but at the moment just a proof of concept we can go we can search for fixed depth so let's say go depth four it doesn't uh have any uh it doesn't even recognize the checkmate at the moment so so this is just literally a placeholder to, to demonstrate that it kind of capable of search no move ordering literally nothing just just help us the best move and that's kind of it but uh to make the development process uh a little bit more comfortable let's say uh, i've also developed I don't say that I've developed this exactly for for the purpose of the, of developing the very stockfish. This was kind of like a standalone project. So I've developed this GUI, which is built with Electron JS, and can be. So uh, I don't provide the binary executable, but you can easily run this if you're familiar with Node uh, Node JS. So just download uh npm install to install the the, the dependent the dependencies and then just say npm start and actually this starts the project so this is a very basic a simple gui which also has supports the move list you can store the games open the games if needed uh but the most uh benefit of this is it's very simple to debug exactly uci engines uh, that play CNC like Fairy Stockfish or Chameleon. Oh, well, actually, Fairy Stockfish uses the UCCI. But anyway, so it would just go for load engine, and here I've added uh, I, I, I've added this new uh, new fill. So now we can interact with the engine directly. Well, obviously nothing happens now because engine is not loaded. But uh, let's say we. Uh, load the engine so let's go to cnc stockfish source and load this one so the engine loads okay so it's all 
right over in here and we still can print the board right over in here we still let's say we do make some moves okay so the fen the engine is being initialized using the fen string so if we have a look at the internal engines board we see like this two cannons has moved okay so from here to here from here to here etc so it, it's not going to be working with a fixed time mode, mode but however if we go for let's say fixed depth mode and ask the engine to make a move it would actually start making some moves so just a proof of concept to show that it is actually possible to so the, it, it's kind of playable it, it, it well uh, i can hardly believe this is it, it's capable of checkmating because uh, i didn't even provide that code uh but anyway just just to give you an idea that you can actually run this and in theory uh you can actually you can you can also run the game versus somewhat different engine so well, let's say uh, let's see we go for fairy stockfish it's built in uh, within the project well i mean it's not built in it's just it's distributed along with the cc bridge arena as well and let's say we start a new game so let's say this version would be playing red this one would be playing black let's go for four ply depth okay uh no four ply depth like this and starting from here so now fairy stockfish would crush uh okay hold on a sec i'm sorry guys something has gone horribly wrong uh, i'm sorry for this so let's have a look at the starting position seems like everything is fine oh, okay hold on a sec something hor goes something horribly wrong goes with the fairy stockfish for some reason okay uh let's try to load this again i don't know it was working like a charm i have no idea what has happened to it actually Fairy Stockfish is trying to play normal chess for some reason. Okay. Okay, guys, just hold on a sec, please. Yeah, I've just realized what's what was wrong there. I've just been uh, slightly changing. Uh, it's not the way to go, really, but. say like this now it should work so let's start from the very beginning so let's go for engine one back to cnc stockfish okay and for engine two let's go for theory stockfish okay now now it goes to ucci mode this is fine so yeah now actually if we have a look at the board so like it's already been initialized with actually the cnc board not the, the traditional board so that's just just to bear in mind guys okay so if we say go four plies depth here four plies depth here this one play in black this one play in red and start with the red to move uh well quite pretty quickly fairy stockfish would win because really uh it's kind of like you know uh cnc stockfish doesn't really have a search you might you might you might be uh fooled by the fact it's playing but it doesn't really have a search i will now show you the source code you'll understand what what, what i mean by saying that basically so i hope that that's clear so uh Fairy Stockfish would win very, very quickly, very soon. Okay. It's still, it's very strange why it didn't win still within this fixed depth stuff. Uh, uh, I'm so surprised what, uh, how on earth uh, uh, my CNC Stockfish actually holds for such a long time. 
this is very very strange to say at least uh, it doesn't literally have anything <laughs> this is very surprising yeah okay so let's just let the engines end up with uh, some sort of result hold on a sec how on earth is that possible that CNC Stockfish just piece up I believe and Ferris Stockfish even considers to be worse. Oh man, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, is this gonna be a draw? Yeah, it seems like just the position repetition. Uh, well, this GUI doesn't handle the, the repetitions. I just, uh, it's more like for debugging, so I didn't really see much sense of doing that. That might be added though, it's not a big deal really. But yeah, it's quite so surprising that at the four plus fixed depth, they end up with a draw, and even CNC Stockfish actually uh, has a, has an extra knight. It, it, when you now have a look at the series code, you you will understand why I feel so confused about this. Okay, so yeah, it's <laughs> so strange. Okay, so probably I don't don't really need the GUI anymore. So let's go for the source code. So just to give you an idea, what kind of search was just used for CNC Stockfish? You will be impressed even more than I than, than, than I was impressed to be honest. To be honest. So here is what left from the entire search routine. Uh, so I don't don't don't, don't even have the iterative dependent. Literally nothing. Just 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 a placeholder so just calling this nigimax search and here is the search routine itself so it's just the bare L uh, fail soft alphabet framework with nothing much it doesn't even have check checkmate uh, detection or stalemate detection to uh, to win nothing really so it's very 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 skeleton of of the search but surprisingly, yeah, uh, <laughs> that was really surprising that uh, how not that bad at all it was playing actually. Well, okay, guys. So um, I will probably now go for so yeah. Let's start with position, one of the core files. So I've slightly, uh, I've, I've significantly reduced the usage of the state infrastructure, which was heavily used in Stockfish itself. So now it only serves the purpose of storing a uh, hash key in a 50 room of calendar uh, during, during the search. So we just copy these values and then restore them back. It's very simple. And again, the number of, uh, so I, I've dropped the boards completely. So not 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 really that many uh methods left so the core methods uh are actually to do move and undo the move okay uh null moves obviously no uh, are, are not work are, are not working now just the empty placeholders uh a routine to detect the repetition a routine to reset the repetition uh array which has been added into the position class unlikely the original stockfish uh, the interface to work with the kin square because uh, again like we have uh, the mailbox uh, board representation at the moment here so uh, generating hash keys and getting the hash key uh, well th this from this goes from original search stockfish uh, reset and search ply is a new method I've added because now search ply is the, is the part of uh, the position class uh, unlikely how it was before as well as the game plan both are getting incremented within the make move function so this is kind of it basically so the liner is here and position cpp one, one, one of the main things so here we set the fen here is the custom routine to to initialize the board array. Yeah, the board array, the board array itself that actually has this sort of a layout inside is this piece type board. The number of square numbers it's 154, 11 multiplied by 14. Uh, so within the types, uh, so here I have some uh, mode generator specific data. 
and here is the original stockfish ingredients for pieces piece types and all this stuff and also i have a custom moving coating because mo moves uh, uh, yeah the squares no more squares we have uh directions are not used uh added extra files and ranks well this and any related stuff can be dropped safely it's no longer used actually and so on so yeah and here 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 are the core methods to encode and decode move which, because move encoding is uh, completely different from original stockfishes it takes more bits to encode the move and also it encodes source piece and target piece and the capture flag not only source square and target square so this is, this is regarding the types just just a very quick brief overview so the mode generator has dropped literally everything and now it consists of only two functions uh well actual function to generate the moves which might be generating uh all the moves or only captures and this function is needed to populate the move list and i was thinking about scoring the moves here but it's really arguable whether it's a good idea to do so or not and we have two templates so the first template generates pseudo legal moves like all the pseudo legal moves and this this template will be generating only captures for a given position so the interface for mode generator is left untouched so this is how how it goes so perf test is now uh, available globally so we just go for perf test it's a bit ugly it's a bit ugly uglier compared to what, what it was before but it works and it's accurate which is really nice so here is the loop over the moves uh, i'm sorry for this global nodes count it's not really that great idea but that's that's what we have and what else why did i want to show you this yeah and uh and this this is now available globally because it wasn't so before yeah, so you can still uh run the perf via go perf command uh in the console like i've been demonstrating this so obviously you can say go perf and this would run the perf test but if you don't want to do this from the uci protocol you can still do this uh you can just uncommand this code specify the proper uh, fen string and just run the stuff just search perf test so here, here now it's available globally like this just command out the uci loop if you don't want this so quite pretty simple so it, it, it's heavily simplified that, that that was one of my main goals actually to simplify the code base as much as i can okay so here uh, here, here is the core do move and undo move functions completely rewritten much less space now because no castling no impassing squares no no promotions in cnc N none of that stuff basically so what else do we have yeah no null move and undo null move are just to place holders for now so this custom function i've added to, re to detect the repetitions set in king square yeah so that's kind of it what else uh what else significant do we have here so we uh so we, we also have uh evaluation placeholder how i call it which only uh takes into account material weights and the p square tables p square table values so here are the p square tables the material weights the sources where it took this stuff from you, you've just seen how it plays so it's not that bad enough so it's, it, it even seems like the values are tuned so before somebody would embed an NUE to this version of stockfish this might be on the cards at least for testing the search for a list yeah so UCI is mostly uh, left untouched as well as the UCI options I just commented out some some things that are no longer on the cards it's like uh, I've dropped the threads uh, I've dropped the CCG table the basis support I've dropped the NNE and yeah I've dropped bitboards I've dropped everything I could drop I, I could drop to make it as simple as possible so at its current state this feels like mm, 
like a mode generator uh, with the UCI protocol uh, and the search placeholder. So really open to actually start implementing the, the, the core, the heart of the engine itself, the, the search routine, basically. And now, guys, uh, I think it's time to talk about why I, don't, uh, why I no longer want to maintain this. So, after getting uh, deeply into Stockfish's code base, uh, what I can say about this is that the architecture is uh, very complicated and it's very, 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 very different compared to the patterns I used to be uh, using in my engines, right? And one of the major things that the matter of strength and the matter of this architecture are not obviously uh, relying on each other. So in Stockfish, there are really many things that are just made differently compared to how I used, uh, used to be doing that. And if this was the matter of just, I don't know, make a CNC engine that at least as strong as Fairy Stockfish, well, actually now it has a faster mode generator, so if it could have uh, restored the original search, it would be definitely stronger, even, even, even like this. But, you know, like, well, first of all, uh, probably engine strength is not the prior parameter for me to to increase, right? And But it's not, it's not even the most, uh, it's, it's not the biggest issue, basically. So the biggest issue for me is, uh, I don't really like how, I mean, it's not a matter of what I like or what I don't like. I just, uh, if I were to go, like, I would have done, uh, I, I would have done that, uh, let's say, regarding the search. This might be having sense in terms of speed and strength, but uh, it would be really hard to call it stockfish any longer because uh, I just do things completely in a completely different manner. So my, what, what I do is minimalist proof of concept implementations, trying to get the most out of the given algorithms. While Stockfish is really kind of sort of a best practices in, in, in the given field, in the niche. And these are two completely different approaches. It's like to be comparing the spaceship and the skateboard with a, uh, with a rocket engine <laughs> be, uh, being tight. Uh, uh, to, to, to the skateboard basically so that's that's the proper comparison I believe and while, while I'm used to skateboards I uh, just uh, it's really enough for me I don't really need to I don't really want to deal with this spaceship to be honest and I don't really want to uh, ruin this this spaceship by converting this uh, by converting it into <laughs> into a skateboard basically uh, I actually did so already, but anyway, uh, still there is the structure of Stockfish and still there are opportunities to uh, rebuild the search from scratch and I, and even add, add, add in the threads. So uh, I just uh, I just moved everything that is, that is not used currently for a mode generator because I, I wanted to keep the code clean and I wanted to keep uh, what I've changed within the code separately from uh, the existing, the, the remaining code base. So if someone would have a look at the source code now, it would be really easy to see like uh, the core gist of what I've done basically. So the, the mode generator, the, evalu the evaluation placeholder, the search placeholder, and actually communicating by UCI. So this, th th this is like the bare minimum setup to start working with. Uh, that, that, that's how what I call it basically. So yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, I have no idea if anyone ever would actually be interested in this. Mm, I really doubt about it, to be honest. Mm. But again, like just 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 to summarize the dilemma I'm facing. So, in case if I would be uh, developing this engine, this would no longer be Stockfish. I would be doing things on my own. And I don't really want to call Stockfish something that is no longer a Stockfish, even though uh, being inspired by. But it's really it would be really hard to call it derivative any longer because probably 
let's say if I work a couple more weeks on this, the only thing uh, that left from Stockfish would be the file names here. Everything else would have been different. That's, uh, I swear. Another another issue, I, I really hate uh, multiple uh, file, files within the project. So if you've been uh, following my channel, you, you, you know that I really prefer a single file uh, for an engine because I just don't really need that many files really. So one file is more than enough for me. So yeah, that's another reason. What else? What else do we have? Uh, I hate C++. I've <laughs> I understood this uh, when I try to work with C++. So it's really the most uncomfortable language to work with, especially well, uh, when it's similar to C, it's totally fine. But when this C++ specific things like templates are arising, it's really getting uh, I don't know, complicated, and I, I just don't really like the the underlying principles why people actually were doing this. So I don't know. I just d don't really want to break the heart, uh, br break the hearts uh, for those who love C++ and actually don't really want to violate the, the principles of the language itself with my weird code mechanics. Uh, ways to by by bypass the best practices of C++. I don't know how to call it, to be honest, but that uh, I, hope, I hope you understand what I mean. You just have a look at the code that I've written and you, you will understand that it's kind of like just, it's the C code that is just compiled by the C++, nothing much really. So, yeah, and what else? And finally, uh, finally, what I've realized that uh, I really like when I can have you know, like some some single product basically uh, some single product to that that has I don't know how to call it that has some requisites by the clients even if there are no clients but it, as if there was a client. So, for me, like a product-driven approach is better because uh, making something concrete uh, is beneficial for me. I don't know. So let let me probably explain this uh, on the examples. So, just just to summarize uh, everything I did regarding C and C, let's just let's go to GitHub and have a have a quick look. Uh, you will now understand what I, what I mean by saying this. I hope hope you understand me, guys. So, the first thing I did is this uh, engine to play Chinese chess in JavaScript, and it has multiple sub projects under it. So, it can play online, it can view games, it can solve puzzles. The same the same app, but just serves different purposes so here we just can play with the engine by the way the opening book is bundled okay here we uh, we can view the list of bundled games okay also can uh, make engine most like for analysis etc here we can solve the puzzles uh yeah i just check made a name and really like 3,000 puzzles etc so separate apps I just I was I just was trying to I don't know uh, trying different niches basically so this this app that you just seen they have uh, evolutionized is that the correct word so evolutionized yeah probably to this embedded interactive CNC apps that are used uh, so here, 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 here it is so these apps uh, are used by sincereenenglish.com site maintained by Van Houdian so let's say here you just have this you can play versus uh, the computer down below, and this is this is embedded as the iframe, and also the and also the puzzle solver is embedded uh, to the sections of the site where it's about uh, solving the puzzles. CNC puzzles. So let's see here. 
I've been demonstrating you this really many times before, but just, just to give a quick summary, uh, yeah, just to play a game. So let's say yeah, made in one, and here after uh, showing showing the existing puzzles with this dumping CNC diagrams, we then have uh, an actual uh, opportunity to to solve this made in two uh, interactively. So that that was the idea, and then later uh, the engine itself, so the Ukun engine that is the core of all of these apps. Uh, Again, like it's the single file source. Uh, the single file source here. It's quite pretty little, I would say. It's quite pretty small. So here is the entire engine. I swear I read this. Uh, 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 I've written this completely on my own. I reused the search from my previous chess project, OkunJS, that was playing International Western Chess. And actually, the idea of this engine, so one of the most benefits of using it is just to use this as uh, as a library for mode validation, for mode generation. That, 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 that's how I use that in most cases, especially for my Assistive Bridge Arena GUI. Uh, I'm also now integrating this with, so here, 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 here are some drafts on API documentation. So what? So yeah. By the way, all all the API calls available are listed here. So what we can do? Everything is here. Uh, nothing much, but yeah. So actually, I just didn't add the documentation for all the uh, available uh, calls. I just uh, provided the documentation only for those actually used. And just to give you an idea how it was actually used in production once, and we're still working on that. So cnc.com is now has the feature of plane versus computer, which is based on my Ukun CNC. So it's already here. Well, let's just start from scratch. So just go to play and join lobby. And then we can play versus computer. And here we have this. So we have a look at just just to give you an idea that this is really my engine. So let's go to the sources. And here is the OkunJS engine by Komaki Kin. It's used as the back end for to play with this sort of an app. So you can just play and that's kind of it basically. Okay guys, so I hope this is clear. But as you can see that it's really being separated into many, many small modules and without much of a system that actually allows to, I don't know how to call it, to bring this all, to, to bring this, uh, all this stuff all together into a single product, basically. That's, that's a bit of an issue. So eventually all of this stuff has, well, uh, ha has involved into this cross-platform GUI that I've developed and been demonstrating you already. This is a bridge. So this is um, Electron JS app. So I've been demonstrating you this. So again, uh, view added games in UBB format, which is used by uh, really million of, mi millions of games in this format that are available at dunpincinsia.com website. So playing with, uh, with the engine, playing engine matches. Uh, today I've added the, f the feature to send the USA command, command directly to the engine. Have uh, two built-in engines. Uh, actually, very stockfish is also on the cars here, so probably should have added that. Mm. Should have added that as well. So, CC Bridge Arena desktop two engines. Yeah, I just want to add Fairy Stockfish. And, ah, oh, damn. Just want to grab the link for Fairy Stockfish quickly. This is it. So 
save and let's just quickly push this. Okay, so now this should be this is a bridge arena. Okay, now it has very starfish. Yeah, the link is alive. Cool. Yeah, just very simple how to install this. Still like available in the development version, so I didn't make any releases, something. It's really for development for debugging basically and a part of this uh, I made really lots of utilities for CNC so uh, I've created the games database uh, I've scraped the games database from uh, World, uh, World CNC Federation website you can have a look at the data samples that we have so I have them in original format that is actually the UVB format available here. This can be parsed, this sort of a format, if converted to string with all of this encoded moves, it can be opened by my CC Bridge uh, GUI, uh, but it has some custom copy uh, in the repository, if I'm not mistaken. Also, uh, here is, uh, here are some samples for the traditional notation, also there is this one in international notation and also in the UCI notation. And this one is used uh, to uh, create an opening book for my Ukuna, uh, for, for my OpenCNC engine, basically. So really lots of things here, okay. Uh, opening book generator, just a script to take those games and generate uh, uh, opening book txt and to generate this sort of a thing so this is just an example file that I later use as just a list of JavaScript strings and use it for the purposes of the f like probing the opening book line from from here it's not optimized but but it works believe it or not what else uh, puzzle generator is another interesting app that actually uh, generates that takes all of the games that runs script to actually initialize the engine with a, a position where the game has ended and if that position results in made in one two three four etc then it just generates uh, then it just extracts the current FE and it stores it so just not really sure where uh, about games puzzles verify JSON uh, yeah, this one even sorted. Yeah, verified and sorted. So here is the list of this puzzles I generated, and they already sorted like made in one, two. So yeah, they are sorted made in one, two, etc. So all every single FEN represents a puzzle that you can feed to the engine as the string. You can play with the engine. That's how my puzzle solver works. And it's a really big file because it's really lots of data in here. Okay. So, this is kind of it about tank specs. No, nothing special here, really. So, th this is what I've done so far regarding Chinese chess, right? But the problem, the unsatisfying problem that I face is actually that, that, uh, that I encounter is it's really mm, not a single project, uh, not, not a single product, I would say. It does contain lots of things, but they're very just kind of split it into many, many small parts, which is good. But every part is just a proof of concept, bare minimum <laughs> idea representing some, some bare minimum implementation representing one or another idea. And this is good, but uh, this is good for YouTube format, this is good for demonstration. Uh, well, the engine, uh, my, uh, the engine itself even works in production, but still like, yeah, probably the engine itself is the most uh, re re production ready 
thin to consider basically I think that's the, the right thin to the right way of how to call it basically yeah, I think that's that's the case uh, and yeah and also yeah I forgot to say that, that also it's available to play uh, so UCI product allows to play with the sister bridge arena the, the the one the app I've created UCI cyclone allows to play via well, UCI to winboard adapter and play in winboard or export GUI it's a real pain to set up that stuff because, so that's not the part that's not kind of official feature it's possible but it's not the official feature and yeah here is the engine itself and here is uh, the shell script to run from this is a bridge arena GUI which literally says node UCI JS that's very simple so yeah guys this is kind of it and the very last project of CNC Stockfish is uh, I, I did try to to make yet another little bare minimum module but it's but, but actually things like uh, bare minimal uh, whatever and stockfish are really the opposite things so I hope you understand the reason why I don't really want to go further with that because uh, I really wanted to be stockfish but I'm not the, the, the guy to follow that format uh, in previous in the past I thought I just can't do that now I, I really feel like I can but I don't really have any motivation uh, at all and yeah so regarding the next steps of what am i supposed to be doing I, I really doubt that someone is actually interested in that but just to give you a very quick uh a very quick idea so uh i'm now having a look at jiangi uh korean chess it's a very interesting game and the only place on the entire internet where i can easily play this variant is so let's try the random mover because well in other case I would just get crushed uh, so th this is how it looks uh, so another amazing amazing project by chess org which like Lee chess but to play variants absolutely amazing then uh, so the rules are, are a little bit different so pawns can move sideways all the time there is no river you can swap the bishop and the knight at the, at the beginning of the game, which is absolutely unique, fantastic feature. So I, I need to say that I'm fine with proceeding. Rooks, uh, uh, most rock like rooks, but when they come, when they step step into the palace, they start being like, uh, they start being like. Uh, mm, going diagonally uh, as well as the points so it's, it's really interesting uh, thing to consider basically so I can check oh we just get crushed by the bishop yeah this is unfortunate yeah bishops are going uh, uh, in a very very interesting way so I just uh, I, I can't even push put the cannon in anywhere because cannon can only jump over the pieces cannons can't take another cannons etc so it's, it's really complicated from the mood generation perspective but but the game itself is very is very exciting really so we just try to move the cannon here okay and we'll just try to checkmate okay yeah so bishop goes one forward two diagonally can be blocked uh I'm not sure if it can be blocked here by the way it's interesting to to know yeah just, just to know if I can yeah so st it can be blocked in whatever good okay so is this a knight uh, well, I'm not sure what the piece is this Yeah, so uh, red characters are similar to CNC but blue or green they also go green sometimes they're different uh, The size of the piece is relative to the strength of the piece 
uh, 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 face in general is also a bit different. Idea. Well, anyway, I can. No, probably wasn't that great idea. Yeah. So yeah, it's even with the random mover for me personally, it's a real pain to checkmate the opponent because yeah, I just try to move the pieces a couple of times, nothing much. So I, I just better resign this. But the game itself is very interesting. Just I, I really feel that this is like so, and I, and I also like mm, uh, that arrows can be drawn here in pie chess. I, I really want this feature in my potentially in my future app. And another issue that I get a very interest in, so we just go to my repository, so go in CNC. Uh, no, not this one, CNC Stockfish. Uh, so here I had a very interesting uh, conversation with someone, a guy requesting this frequency to play Korean chess. So he said, like, uh, there is no... Uh, there is no kind of like other engines playing Korean chess other than fairy stockfish uh, and there that's really not definitely not the truth but that's very close to be the truth uh, I know that Harm Gerrit Miller is now developing his his own uh, Genghi uh, ch chess engine that is based on uh, reinforcement learning. Not sure how exactly that works. Uh, yeah, so I need to figure out that as well. But really, not just I don't know. Maybe, maybe a few more engines exist. Well, but uh, but on GitHub, if you just search for Gen Gen you, you don't find anything that you can just run and it works. I didn't find that uh, apart from Fair Stockfish apparently. So yeah. Uh, and this game is really more dynamic compared to CNC because the bishops can go, there is no reverse, so the bishops can go to attack the king and they can support the matter of checkmate in the king. Also, pieces within the king's palace has some extra features, like uh, to go in diagonally. Also, advisors uh, actually can go diagonally as well. Oh, I just resigned the game, that's the reason why no moves uh, drawn here. So king can go uh, all the directions, advisors can go all the directions. So it's really more freedom within this game, more dynamics, and it really feels, uh, really feels interesting. So something that I have in mind is try to take all the functionality I did for Chinese chess and bundle them all together into a single, well, probably this would be a desktop application built with Electron JS to play to play Genghi. That's the idea that I have. So that's the idea that I really have now. Not sure how it goes, really. Uh, also regarding the engine itself, just to bring a bit more fun to Korean users, this might be on the cards to Uh, provide the native support for Winboard or Xboard uh, GUI. So the only thing to download would be the Node.js, which is the single executable literally, and that would be enough to run, uh, to connect and run this engine within the Winboard, in case if I make it one day, obviously. So that's kind of the plans for the future. So it's not really much about the different variant, well, uh, well it is about the different variant as well, it's really exciting. But it's more like likely about uh, just trying to bring together everything, uh, all the modules I did so far into a single reasonable product and see what happens basically. Because again, like I even in CNC, there are GUIs, there are engines, not really that much, but quite a plen plenty room to to have some software basically. Well, for Genghi, for Genghi it doesn't really seem to, to be anything, literally anything. 
so this might be interesting not sure where it goes how exactly it goes but we'll see basically so let me know what do you what do you guys think about this in the comment trees well I already feel like uh, even more people are, are going to unsubscribe after uh, hearing this news I believe but I'm sorry for disappointing you if anyone is disappointed but I just really wanted to share my thoughts so let, let me know what do you think about my dilemma of uh, being in love with the skateboards and, <laughs> and ha having no motivation to maintain the spaceship like stockfish and well any commentaries are appreciated so I really think what uh, I'm really interested to know what do you guys think about this what I said about well, well, what I was talking about in this video okay so this is it from my side until the next time thanks for watching yeah obviously thanks for watching until the next time and take care